Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a guide on how to set up a Bungie network. So right now, you're going to navigate to your Multicraft panel. Make sure you have four servers here. Generally for Bungie, we're going to have one gigabyte hub, one gigabyte, and for your other subservers, whatever RAM amount you need. Alright, so, first thing we're going to do is name our servers appropriately. So middle click the name of the server, so you can open multiple ones at different tabs. Now we get to the server, the way I like to name it is I put the network name. Then I use the double slash, then I put the server name, so this is going to be Bungie. Control A, Control C, then save it. Next server, Control A, Control V, just name this to hub. Oops. If you want, you can just do click and drag, control C, save, control A, control V, this is going to be, let's make a mini game, save it, the next one, control A, control V, and name this prison. And if you have more servers, you can just keep going and going and going. So go to the main tab. Refresh. Oh yeah, all our servers named. First thing we're going to do is for the hub, we're going to give him some prison. Alright guys, next thing we're going to do is for all the servers that are now Bungie, you're going to set your server version that you want. So we're going to make it Spigot 1.8.8. If, it, if you want your server a different version, just put the other version, like Spigot 1.12 or anything like that. It doesn't affect anything. So we're going to go to Hub, Server Jar, and we're going to set it to Spigot 1.8 for each one. This is already set. This one's already set as well. Alright, now what you're going to do is start the servers to generate their files. Wait for them for the check mark to appear. So while we wait, we're going to open Notepad. And we're going to record all the server IPs. So now they are going to start with this IP. Then for the port. Alright. So let's go to the front here. Refresh. So when the server is enough, we're waiting for these two to boot. Okay, and all the subservers are set. Now for each subserver, again, it's not Bungie. We're gonna do files, config files, server settings, scroll down to online mode, set it disabled, and save. I don't know if this one applied. It applied. Alright. Now for each of the subservers, click the name on the top here, like this. And just simply restart them. And for all the other servers you have, just restart them as well. 
Wait for these to reactivate. All right, so now all the subservers are ready to be linked to a proxy or Bungie server. So enter the Bungie server. Select the server where you want. So this is a Bungie server, so we're gonna scroll up to Bungie. Latest build. Now we're gonna start the server. Okay, the server crashed. Reason for us, we didn't configure Bungie yet, so try to bind to a port that it can't use. So what are gonna do? Select back. Files, FTP file access. Get put in your password. Config the YMO. Now config YMO is really sensitive to edits, so make sure you do this carefully. The player limit we want on the Bungie server or network is going to be 100. Permissions, this will be permissions for the server groups that you want. So we're going to leave this alone. So item means ops, default means regular players. Time out 3000, does it disconnect time, log commands, true. You do want to log all commands. Disabled commands, you can leave them all here. Online mode, true, since you're going to have your server run. Um, online mode. Service, we're going to leave alone for a bit. Message of the day. We need to leave this alone for a bit. Tablet global, fine. If you want query enabled, you can leave that. Um, you can leave this alone. Forest host, for example, if you had a server named PVP. No, actually, no. Hold on. I'll show you guys this in a bit. Ping patch through, true. Parties, leave this alone for a bit. By the local address, true. Host, leave this alone for a bit. Max players, again, 100. Tell the 64 to full server. This is where things get confusing. Okay, so let's say a player, no, let's say a player was um, currently in our prison server. Then when it is connect and reconnect, you want them to go back to the prison server instantly. You're gonna have this set to false. However, let's say a player was in a minigame server, then he left, and when he rejoins, you want him forced, like, you want him to go back to hub, you can set this to true. Because um, if forced to false server is true, it's going to force every single player to join to network, whether they were joined before or not, back to hub. So we're going to set this to true, because I want everyone to join to hub. IP forward, true. This will forward all the players' IPs to the actual sub-servers, so you can actually record some IPs. Groups, you can set your name there. So, Maze Clanix. Connection Throttle 4000, you can leave this alone. And Prevent Proxy, pr yeah. prevent proxy Connections, I'm not sure about this. Alright, for the servers, since we have three sub-servers, and we have the notepad already, I'm going to paste them here. Please note the YML files are really sensitive to extra spaces. So let's say you um, do something like this. The config file will crash. Let's say you do something like this. The config file will crash. Um, let's say you had an extra um, thing here. The config file will crash. Um, let's say you space this out. Config file crash. So it's really sensitive. So what are going to do here? Um, select all of this, control C, enter, control V, enter, control V. Now there should be two spaces in front of the name. Or three, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. All right. So let me put this half screen. Set this. You put this here. Okay, so the hub is going to be this IP. You can name this hub. Address. Then minigames. Name this minigames. Then prison. And we're going to paste this here. Uh, 
All right. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go down to priorities. This is what Bungie will do to send players to the right server. So let's say um, Hub is offline. So let, actually, let's put all the servers here. Hub. Mini games prison. Oh, guys, make sure not to actual tab in the config because that could screw things up too. It's mini games. Prison. So let's say as soon as the player tries to join, we have forced the false server true. It's gonna try to join through hub. Let's say hub is not available. It's gonna try to summon to mini games. Mini games not available, we're gonna send the prison. Usually other kind of people they just have this hub only. So if hub is down, that means no one could join, but I like to have all the other servers on there too. Okay, for first host Alright, for forced host, um, let's say you want players to um, join to a subdomain, like minigames, the awkward is the host. So it tries to join, like if you point this to the server, minigames awkward is the host, and you put this here, if players um, type this domain in and you have a DNS record pointing to it, They'll um, instantly join to many games, but for now we're gonna leave this um, blank. Okay, so now for oops. Okay, so now for the host section, we're gonna put in the Bungie IP. So copy the Bungie IP, paste it in here, and you're all set and dandy. Now we're going to do, save the config, middle click Aquatus Networks, your Bungie name. I already have it here, but it doesn't matter. Then I'm going to start the server. Go back to console. Let's wait and see what happens. Line 54, so yeah, it done goofed it up. So Monstercraft is actually a bit weird, to be honest. Because look, it actually makes a tab here for no reason. So it's going to um, get rid of that and save it again. Console, kill it. Then start it. Okay, as you can see now, the Bungie server is up. Startup listing on, then the IP of the Bungie server. So the control C, the copy the IP, then we're launch Minecraft. Our Minecraft launches up, just so you guys know. Did I close it? I closed it. Okay, play. Alright, now Minecraft is up. We're gonna add a server IP. Scroll all the way down. Okay, as you see our service here, but you may be wondering, hey, how come the message of the day ain't the same as here? Or here. Well, as you know, since we have forced the default server true, it's copying the message of the day from the hub server. So in the hub server, we're going to files, config files, server settings. You will have to upload a server icon to hub, change the message of the day to make your server look beautiful. So we're going to join it. As you see, we're here. Oh, hi. Um, we're going to quickly vanish away, so we're going to do slash server. We're going to do server mini games. Oh, gosh, you almost got me. And look, things we lit over here. So then we're in a different server slash server prison. And look, we're in a different server.
As you can see, um, I think the Adventure Time people are over there, and the Ice Dunes or whatever they call it. Oh, God. Um, that's pretty much it, to be honest. Um, there's a known security issue, so let's say a player, um, finds your prison IP. Like, they try to join to the prison server. <coughs> Let's see your players try to join to the prison server. I just want to find your IP. They're basically in offline, um, what's it called? Offline mode right now. So they actually can, um, imitate to be you and actually cause destruction to the server. So, um, I do have a guide on how to actually, um, fix this. I'll leave a link in the description on my other video on how to resolve this. And, um, at the end of the video, I'll put, um, little box with the YouTube link there so you guys can actually see it but um that's one way how people try to screw each other up it's a whole process I could tell you guys about it but it'll take too long and I don't want you guys to die but hey we're all set alright so um like I said if you guys want to actually add more service in the future control C control V like you could keep adding a bunch of them, just things like that. Anyways, guys. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching my guide. I hope I helped you in any shape, way, or form. If you have any questions, you just leave them down in the comments. I'll be most likely, I'll be more than um glad to help. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day.